the USS Indianapolis is sinking so fast, the crew have no time to launch lifeboats. Those who make it into the water have only basic life jackets and a few simple rafts to keep them from sinking. It takes less than 12 minutes for the Indianapolis to vanish beneath the waves, with more than 300 of her crew still on board. The water is covered with several inches of this thick fuel oil, and it smells terrible, and um, it's in complete and utter chaos. What's needed is a leader, a job that falls naturally to Bronze Star Marine Captain Edward Park. Captain Edward Park is a graduate of American University in Washington, D.C. He graduated in 1933. If you look at the American University yearbooks, he's, he's quite a football star. He was a tailback on the football team. He was a big man as a football star. He definitely met that persona as a football star. Six foot, 200 pounds, big, bulky guy. Captain Park does a roll call, basically, where he's having the men number off. He's trying to keep the men engaged. He's trying to keep the men present. He's keeping them in that mindset that they have a mission to live at this point. Edward Park does his best to protect the men by gathering them together using a length of rope. Many are weak and injured. Some are bleeding from open wounds. Like a true Marine, he was not gonna go out without a fight. And so he put that energy to doing what he could do, and that was saving men, keeping them alive. By dawn on day two, another 100 men have lost their lives, whittled down by injury and exhaustion. Now the men are suffering from a new form of hardship, thirst. The average human can survive four days without water, but in extreme heat, this figure drops to just two. The men begin to drink the salty seawater. Those who drink the seawater are quickly overtaken by extreme hallucinations. The kidneys can't rinse or remove that much saline from the system. Their brains essentially begin to fail them. They're seeing islands. They're seeing the boat underneath the surface. And they dive down and never to be seen again. Bronze Star Marine Edward Park has battled to keep the swimmers group alive. He's swimming and swimming and spending 10 to 15 minutes there and then coming back to our next group. Now he gets to that one group, and then he spots another one on the horizon. He really didn't take time to rest. He just swam from group to man to man to man to group to really, you know, make sure that the men were taken care of. Without food or water, and 500 miles from the nearest island, their battle for survival has only just begun. 